there, my forever happy family. Welcome to another episode of Forever Happy, of course. Uh, wanted to kind of talk to you guys about some trips that we're planning, you know, in the future to kind of document here. And, um, you know, one of the things that I found very interesting here in New Mexico is there are a lot of archaeological sites, sites of ancient cultures that have lived in the past. And did you know that um, this state of New Mexico boasts incredible archaeological sites? One site alone represents more than 10,000 years of documented human cultural history. A lot of history is here. And um, we're going to uh, try to, to go and visit these places. Some of them are closed due to COVID issues and uh, some of them are not. We'll just have to figure them out as we go. There are a total of 10 archeological sites, historical locations uh, located in the state of New Mexico and uh, there's also four more that are in Colorado that are around the Four Corners area. If you're familiar with that, it's um, where Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado all come together and meet in one corner. It's called Four Corners. You could go there and you can actually stand in four states at one time. So uh, when we go up to that part of the state, we're going to experience that too. Uh, so uh, just thought I'd share what some of these places are and um, you know, give you kind of an insight into what we're hopefully going to be able to bring you in the near future uh, down the road. So um, I made a nice list here because, of course, I can't remember the names of all of them. However, uh, I'll look here, I'm gonna get on the National uh, Parks website and I can give you a description of each of the places and um, maybe you'll wanna come visit them as well. So number one on the list is Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument. And there are a couple of locations. Uh, the Kind of the big one is Grand Quivira, and uh, it's a 226 room structure from uh, Pueblo IV period, which was AD roughly 1300 to 1600, to give you an idea of, uh, you know, what we're talking about with historical, um, you know, sites. And another one is the Chaco Cultural Nat National Historic Park. And that one actually has a lot of different locations within it. And um, it was a center for thousands of people between 850 and 1250 AD. So now we're getting even older and uh, you know, you, you can see by these pictures here um, what it looks like, how, um, you know, amazing, uh, you know, at least for me, just being in interested in history like that. Uh, and, you know, it's just, well, I just want to see it for myself, and I hope you will too, want to as well. Uh, there was the Tijeras Pueblo Archaeological Site. You see that it's another ancient place. This one is the people of Guagua Pueblo. Probably butchering that name. Um, and then we have the Coronado Historic District. This one, so it was settled around AD 1325. Um, And then the next one here is the Three Rivers Petroglyph site. B 
creeping around uh, between 900 and 1400 AD. And uh, you can see some pictures here of the, some of the petroglyph, petroglyphs that are available there. And another one's the Petroglyph National Monument, which is probably the first one that we're gonna visit. It's only, um, I think it's like 10, 15 miles from where we live. And uh, it's got just, it's a pretty large park and um, you can see by the pictures, just some more amazing things. And uh, these, the, the park here, this location was settled by Native Americans and Spanish settlers 400 to 700 years ago. And uh, some more pictures here for you. We've got the Aztec Ruins National Monument, the Pecos National Historic Park, the Bandelier National Monument, and the Gila Cliff Dwellings, which are amazing. I am really excited to be able to go in and check them out. Uh, up in the Four Corners in Cortez, Colorado, there's Mesa Verde National Park, Hovenweep National Monument, Canyons of the Ancients, and Puye Cliff Dwellings. So, really stoked, really want to um, give you a chance to see what those places are like, and hopefully you'll want to come and visit and uh, check them out for yourselves. And that's kind of, that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed the, sh the pictures I've shared from it. Um, most of those pictures were from the National Park website. And uh, yeah, I usually go there to do my research and some investigation, kind of find out about what's going on. It's also a good source to identify your um, COVID situation, whether the park's open, what parts of the park are open. Like uh, when we went to White Sands, uh, the um, store there was not open, but they did set out a table with certain items that you could, you know, uh, trinkets that you'd be able to purchase um, to take home with you uh, just to commemorate your visit there. Um, and different places of the park were also closed. And, so the National Park website is a great place to go. If you are a veteran, you can, and you're a disabled veteran, you can go to the Forestry Service and actually get a lifetime National Parks Pass. And that's what we do. We get the Parks Pass and it gets us into all the national parks. New Mexico has um, a great program for their state parks and monuments. And uh, all the ones that I've talked about today are all uh, national parks, but there are some state monuments that I think are also archeological. I haven't been able to get a good grip on how to locate all of those. But they have, if you're 50% uh, disabled or more, um, you can get a free pass, lifetime pass to all of the state parks, monuments, and uh, museums, free passes into the museums. It also comes with some camping, uh, so you can stay at various state parks as well. Uh, so if you're a veteran, definitely check into your state's uh, benefits. A lot of them have state park benefits for veterans. That's it, that works. You're considered disabled, but you're 0%. Uh, so I would check those out. Um, like I said, the National Park one, since I'm in the reserves, I have been getting just an annual, your military members are able to get a free annual pass each year. Um, and so that's what we kind of been doing, especially we go to Grand Canyon and, and stuff. Uh, it's been very helpful to get into those parks with the park pass. So it's a great thing to check out. You, if you serve this country, it's a great benefit to take take advantage of and uh, that's gonna do it so uh, you know COVID's still out there we're still trying to get on the the right side of it and get on the recovery side so please 
stay safe out there and keep smiling and above all, be happy.